That's a picture of someone having just taken a bite out of ice cream with their teeth, like a sociopath, sure, but also like someone without sensitive teeth. I'm pretty sure some people's teeth just hurt looking at that, and a lot of times they don't even have to do something weird for their teeth to hurt. Normal things like eating and drinking, sometimes even breathing, can be uncomfortable. So let's talk about what causes teeth to be sensitive and what you can do to fix it. So there's two situations where your teeth might be sensitive. In some cases, the tooth itself is healthy and normal, but the nerve inside is being, I don't know, a little dramatic and responding to everything like it's a much bigger deal than it actually is. This happens a lot after trauma, like maybe you banged your tooth on something and it gets sensitive for a couple days. This normally goes away on its own unless you are continuously traumatizing the tooth, which can happen if you clench and grind your teeth. The other reason for sensitivity is that there's actually something physically going on with the tooth and the nerve is responding appropriately. Uh, lots of people think that sensitivity means that you might have a cavity, and while that is sometimes true, it's usually something else. So if you look at a normal healthy tooth, you see this layer of enamel on the outside, and then something called dentin underneath. At the very center of the dentin, there's this hollow area that has all the living parts of the tooth. Importantly for sensitivity, that's where the nerves are. From looking at this picture, it looks like there's all this great stuff that insulates the nerve from cold things, but here's how things can go wrong. Through grinding your teeth, brushing your teeth too hard, or acid erosion, you can remove the enamel that covers the dentin, or you can cause recession that exposes the root. It's that exposed dentin that can cause problems, because dentin isn't completely solid. It has these tiny microscopic tunnels in it that run from the outside of the tooth all the way to the nerve. That's why teeth get sensitive. Those dentin tubules, as we dentists like to call them, are really good at transmitting a cold sensation directly to the nerve. So what do you do about it? Well, you don't necessarily have to do anything. Dentin tubules will fill in and become clogged over time, and when they do, your sensitivity will go away. Which leads to the question, why do people have sensitivity that doesn't go away? Well, it could be due to repeated trauma, like I mentioned earlier, but it could also be because Whatever habits you did to expose didn't in the first place, you are still doing. So whether through grinding, overbrushing, or acid erosion, you might be constantly exposing new sensitive dentin, and you never give the dentin tubules a chance to fill in. You can try toothpaste for sensitivity. Those have either potassium nitrate or stannous fluoride in them, both of which are good at clogging up the dentin tubules and reducing sensitivity. There are also some treatments that your dentist can do for you to give you some relief. But the best thing your dentist can do is to figure out what is causing the sensitivity in the first place and giving you some advice to prevent it. They might suggest you wear a night guard or use an electric toothbrush that has a sensor that prevents you from brushing too hard. Hopefully just changing some habits, maybe changing your toothpaste and toothbrush, will give you some relief. Then you can eat ice cream however you want.